everybody, Shelby here, back for another video today. I'm going to be showing you how to make animations and put them inside of your game. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go up here and then go to plugins. And then go to Rig Builder. Click it. And then this is where you can select which type of rig you would want. R15 is for advanced. R6 is for beginners. So we're going to go for R6 and select the block rig. The block rig is the easiest to see. And then this will appear. Once you click it. And then you're going to want to go back to the home. And then game settings. And then this will pop up. You can go to Avatar. And then you can see this. You don't want to mess with anything down here or up here yet. You're only going to want to mess with the Avatar type. You'll see this, R14 and R6. Whichever one you chose for your rig right here is the one you're going to want to choose here. So we're going to go with R6. Click Save. And then... Go to plugins. Then, next to Rig Builder, there's going to be an animation editor. Click that. Then this will pop up Untitled Animation. Go on to click the dummy. Then click Create. This warning will pop up if you choose R6. But click OK, it doesn't affect anything with the animations. Then, you can start animating. If you wanted to move the arm, you can click the arm, and then you can rotate it. You can move it by pressing R, and then you can start rotating again by pressing R again. You can start to make your animation. And then, if you wanted to upload your animation and be able to use it in your game, go to File, and then Export. Then this will pop up. You can click Create New, name it whatever you want, add a description if you want, then click Finish. This will pop up. But you don't want to click OK. You're going to want to do this. Hold left click down. And at the same time, press right click. Then, click copy. You'll have the animation. And then you can click OK. It is uploaded. And then, you can click the X up here. To exit out the animation editor. Like for example, if you wanted to change your jump animation, this animation, or walking animation or something, then you need some scripts to change the animation. But first, we're going to need to figure out where all of those animations are. So if you want to see them, you can go to View, up here, and then Open Explorer in Properties. And then this all will pop up. So the thing you're going to want to do is check where they are. So you're going to want to go to home and then click play. And then you're going to want to go to workspace. And then your character. It will be named your username. Then open it up. And then all of this will pop up. You're going to want to open up the animate script. And this is where all of the animations are held. So we're going to change the jump animation since it's the most simple. You can open it up and this is where the jump animation will be. We are going to change the animation ID. So it changes this animation. You can go to home and click stop. And to go back here. And then 
We're going to want to put a script inside of the character so it changes the animations. So, starter player is inside of Explorer. And then, open it up. Right click starter character scripts. Go to insert object. And go to script. This will show up inside of it. And you will be greeted with this. You don't need to print hello world. So you can get rid of that. And then if we wanted to change the jump animation, then we're going to need to change the ID. So we're going to want to put script. So we'll go here, the script dot parent. So it goes to the script's parent, which will be the character. Dot animate. So it'll go to the script. And then whatever animation you want to change with no capitals, and then dot jump atom dot animation ID. So this will go to the animation ID, and then we can start changing it. We'll press space, press equals, press space again, and then put parentheses, quotes, and then this. The red line will go away, and you'll be greeted with this. If you want Roblox to recognize your animation ID, then you're going to want to put RBX asset ID colon forward slash forward slash and then your ID. You can paste it there using you can right click it and then click paste or you can use control V like this. And then the jumping animation will be changed. As you can see right here. If you wanted to change the walking and running animation, Roblox usually messes that up sometimes with R6. The running and walking are swapped. So the walking animation is actually the running animation. And the running animation is the walking animation. If you wanted to change the animation without having to change the whole script, then you can just put walk or whatever animation you want to change and put it here too with capitals. Walk anim and walk. It's different with the idle animation though. Because the idle animation, you can't just put idle anim. You're going to have to put animation one or animation two because there's two animations for the idle. There's the first animation, which is just the normal standing still, like this. And then there's the second animation, which is swing your arms around. It rarely comes, but if you want to make it always do this, you're going to want to change the animation to two. So, you're going to have to do the same thing again. Instead of animation 1, you're going to put animation 2. And do the same thing. And then it will always do this idle animation, no matter what. Punch that like button and smack that subscribe button. Ring that bell, and thanks for watching.